Oh, she forgot to say. And I bought the wrong spare inner tubes. So I have to use the one I'm fixing. Well done, Jeff. Well done. We are now at Castello di Ferrara. Come yeah, on. Ferrara Castle. It's pretty much in the middle of Ferrara. There is this massive castle uh, surrounded by a moth, like you know, the lake around the castle. And wow. it's interesting because it's in, yeah. in the middle of the city, you know. You're just like walking up with uh, the car or something, and then you're right in the middle of the castle. And then suddenly, boom, a castle, you know. Oh, uh, that's nice. And you can go inside and make a tour. And uh, but yeah, we will show a bit of Ferrara right now. It's quite cute, the city. We didn't have much time here because we spent the last few days in the countryside with our friends, and so it was amazing. It was really nice, we good were to rest. Very much spoiled by them. Good so now it's a bit hard for us to leave. Yeah, uh, but uh, we yeah. have the morning on Ferrara, and uh, let's see it. As we were traumatized by long day cycling coming to Ferrara three days ago, just because we didn't leave most of our time, we decided to, to hit the road right then. So, quick stop before we leave Ferrara, and we're gonna eat some focaccia that our dear friend Antonella made to us. Which I love so much, so good. Yes, yeah, so nice. So, just gonna eat quite fast, and then we are back to the, to the road again. Here we are, full again. We were excited to ride by the Po River again. Also, because we knew we wouldn't make to kill the that day. We are looking forward to camp by the river. Perhaps make a fire, watch the stars, and enjoy this beautiful nature. Everything was going perfect again, but there's always a but. When we stopped to take some pictures of the landscape, my bike fell to the ground and the front wooden box broke. That was the box I was carrying the drone. Lucky, I had the drone with me and it didn't fall altogether. So I had to improvise to carry on the trip. Soon enough, the landscape made me forget the incident. Just as we started to think of where we were going to set up our tent, we found out we were not actually camping by the river this time. We were um, cycling along uh, Po River and this couple came to talk to us. They, they actually promote cycle tourism along the river. So we started talking and they were like, so do you have where to stay tonight? We're like, no, not really. Oh, uh, we have an Airbnb, you can stay there, but um, because it's full, you can just put your tent in the garden if you want. And look where we are. Here we are. <laughs> awesome. So here's the place. Check it out, how beautiful. La Zanzara. Yeah. B&B La Zanzara. So we're gonna sleep here tonight. And we are looking forward. We got stranded here close to Kyoja 
and look at the weather. We were planning to leave today to, to Kyoja, but uh, with this weather, there is no way we are going anywhere. As the rain didn't allow us to leave, Serena invited us to stay a couple of days with them. She took us as family and we had a really good time together. Okay, so we've left our new family, new family. <laughs> who adopted us for the last two days and now we're back to the road. We had two amazing days with this family. They were super nice, taught oh, us cars so coming, much. Cars coming, cars coming. I go first. Oh my first. days. Woo. The registration says free. <laughs> All right, let me change your hands. All right, there we go. So how do you feel, T, after these two days? I feel very renewed. And as we wrote on our Facebook, uh, it's awesome to have this feeling of destroying our stereotypes, our prejudices. When we entered Veneto, we thought, oh, hospitality here is not very strong. They're going to be rude, they're going to be racist. That's actually and the... the the main, main idea of people from Veneto, I will just talk a little bit lower now, <laughs> uh, that they are very racist and they are not very polite and quite cold people. Yeah, and we just get the opposite on the very first moment, so like in less than 10 minutes, this couple approached us, invited us to their house, treated us as family, took us to their gathering, like a gathering where they meet every year. You know, just old friends and they took us together, so that was awesome. And awesome to break this kind of stereotype. You come with one mentality about the people and they just show you something completely different and very nice. That's the cool thing about traveling, seriously. Yeah. That's what we miss the most. Cause, yeah. uh, when we are in our routines, in our daily lives, we just... Don't see it. Yeah. Think, yeah. Uh, we get used to this fresh, these stereotypes and... Uh, we are kind of like on the countryside. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what keeps us going, you know. Yeah. But yeah, let's see what this day reserved to us. We're getting close to the coast now. We should be there maybe in three hours in Kyoja, which is known as Little Venice. Now we are no longer by the Po River, but instead cutting through some villages towards Kyoja. We are now to enter the Venice province and Fernanda was really excited as it was her first time in Venice. Okay, so we've arrived in the Venice province. So How happy! happy. Uh, the first time of Fernanda in Venice. Yes. So he's literally crossing the river. But as you can see, it's a motorway. Makes it a bit harder. But let's cross to Venice now. Let's go. We go. We go. We need to cross it. We need to cross it. The whole way towards Kyoja so far had been through some rivers and channels. So in order to avoid the motorway, we are now cutting through some very small villages. It was amazing cycling around there. We also started to notice the difference on the landscape and architecture of the houses. Now, it really seemed to us that we had entered a different region of Italy. 
To increase our excitement, when we were the Serena, we did a little tour around the area. We visited the museums in Adria, the cities around, as well as went to their yearly gathering with their friends. In this gathering, we met with Mariana, who is from Kyogia. She was waiting for us to show us around. We couldn't wait to tour around Kyogia with a local. As soon as we approached Kyoja, we instantly felt we were by the sea. The small buildings, the air, the whole atmosphere were telling us that we'll be by the beach quite soon. Olha, vou pegar uma prainha amanhã, hein? Alright.